Oh, this loading screen is particularly long today. Longer than the video. I guess we must be waiting for someone. Anyway, Symphonic, do you want to take away the first introduction there? Sure thing. Good. Now I have In the top left-hand corner of the map, representing the Protoss race, as well as Infinity, uh, Infinity Gaming, he is Skillis. On the other side of the map, his opponent in the blue, representing the Wolven clan, this is Hellraiser. So we're sort of just being thrown into the fire here on this map, I think. My first impressions of this map are that I believe it does favor aggressive play. Uh, from my own games and from what I've seen, it does seem to be rather, uh, I guess you could say, a bit chaotic. There are a lot of different attack paths. A lot of different weird engagements can occur, uh, can occur with a line of sight blockers through the middle of the map as well. So... We'll, uh, we'll have to see how, how this one plays out, but I would not be surprised to see some aggression right from the get-go. I 100% agree. You know, the rush distance on this map is 40 seconds. Now, to those of you who may not know, rush distance is basically your initial worker being sent across the map. And all the workers have the same speed, so that's a really good way to measure the size of a map from your main to, to the enemy main. And yeah, that's pretty short. The standard is 45. Nakamura, if all workers have the same speed, how is it that probes always chase my SCV around a building and kill it every single time? It's clearly because they're faster, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but this is their actual purpose, Symphonic. To go across the map... Harvest the minerals of the other guy, go home, <laughs> and now the other guy's base has less minerals. So that's what they're supposed to do. Yeah. By the way, I mean, so we've got the two gateway versus two gateway, which is, um, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. But we do have stalkers from Skillis and Adepts for Hellraiser. So while the, the build itself started out the same, we already have a discrepancy in the unit choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I actually really like to go Stalkers myself when I play. I, I just find that they're better straight up against the Adepts. So, what I mean is by that, that if you open Stalkers versus Adept, then I think the Stalker guy has the advantage. But, behind this, Hellraiser is also going a Stargate. So that could uh, catch Skillis off guard. Yeah, I mean, we've got Stargate versus Robo, so they've actually diverged quite a bit from one another here. Nice wall in. And now the Stalkers can actually chase down these Adepts. This is what I basically meant here. It's very difficult to get in those shades, but it's pretty easy to chase the Adepts across the map. Survives with freaking free HP. Crazy. Yep, good job by Hellraiser to pull that one Stalker forward and just sort of allow the Adept to escape. Skillus really is playing a stable game here with the free gate robo. I love it. Just so stable. Now let's see what the Oracle does though. So Skillus was actually sending a probe out to the right hand side. I'm not sure if that was going to be for a forward pylon or if he was just scouting. The Adepts did kill it, but that triggers Skillus to send his stalkers over there and uh, try to take one of the Adepts out. Might the body be block! Did you see that body block? The these guys got away just because of that. Oh. Sees the Oracle, <laughs> so he has time to get in there. And also, the shield battery is going to help a little bit with holding this. Makes it so that two stalkers can very comfortably defend this, and the Oracle actually gets nothing done. Whoa. Very solid defense thus far from Skillis. And it looks like he is posturing now for a powerful attack. He's got the Warp Prism ready to go, as well as a handful of stalkers. There it looks like uh, seven stalkers easily going to take down the shield battery. That might just be too many Stalkers for Hellraiser to defend against. There is another Oracle now, but they're not defending at home. Uh, attacking into the shield batteries is, of course, difficult here, though. But got some nice juggling going on. Those Stalkers are barely losing health. Picking off the gateway will be huge. 
yeah, that's really going to cut into the production power of Hellraiser. It's a essentially a stalker versus stalker battle. Sure, he has two oracles, but they're on the other side of the map. How is he going to hold this mass of stalkers that's walking into his base now? That's just so much Protoss. Looking really bad for for Hellraiser, but he's doing some probe damage on the other side. Four, six, seven, eight. Okay, those oracles are really getting some work done. Impressive. But is he going to survive? Yeah, that's the question here. He's done economic damage, but he's losing army. He's trying to chrono boost out a void raid to help deal with these stalkers. He's going to have to pull probes at this point. He could be still running into the stasis ward. That could make or break the escape. Oh my god, he got so many! <laughs> the void ray is still not done, however. It's so slow. Very good juggling still. And there's so many stalkers left, left within stasis. Ten workers fall for Hellraiser. And it's just looking really bad for him. Again, Skillers with another warp in. Uh, is probably going to be able to end this game now. Yeah, as soon as they popped out of that stasis trap, they were able to focus down the Void Ray. That's going to be enough for GG. Very